Hey y'all, Laura, Peaks for Pounds. Thanks for tuning in. It is time to review the shoe. This is the Hoka Speedgoat 5 Gore-Tex. And I've been wearing it for about 100 miles. My first 100 miles on the Appalachian Trail. I wanted to give you a little review. Um, super comfortable. I picked this shoe because I've been wearing Hoka's for a couple years now whether it be just for hiking or the gym or whatever, the Hoka brand has been super comfortable for me. You can see how cushiony it is, and it's fit my foot uh, quite well. I've got a wide foot, and the toe box is quite comfy. So I wanted to go with this shoe um, to hike um, my, my journey along the Appalachian Trail. So I picked the Speed Goat 5, and I went with the Gore-Tex because I started hiking in February, mid-February, and it's wet and it's cold and it can be icy and I wanted to try to keep my feet as dry as possible so I went for the Gore-Tex, the GTX. I'm glad I did. Um, well, let me tell you some things I like and some things that I think can be improved on the shoes. First of all, they're super cute. The Speed Goat, uh, they make their shoes in all kinds of different colors and some are quite uh, out there, fuchsia and different things. If you can find one of those fun colors, I've got another pair that's uh, like an aqua blue and pink and I love it, super fun. But uh, these here, your typical, just your kind of like an aqua color, green color. And um, you see, it's got the Hoka brand on it. My favorite part about the shoe is the lightweightness and the comfort. Like I said, it fits my foot perfectly, the pair, this particular pair where it weighs, I think, just over one pound, one, one and a half pounds, 1.7 ounces, one pound, seven ounces. Um, and so it's lightweight on your, on your feet as you're hiking. If you get the runners, they're also very lightweight, super cushiony in the heel. Um, this has what they call a heel to toe drop of four millimeters. If that means anything to you, it doesn't really mean anything to me, but, um, some folks that does. So it's got that. One of my favorite features is this tongue. This is a lay flat tongue. Instead of being puffy, it just lays flat against your foot and it's very easy to pull up and, and adjust. So I, I really like that. I like um, the back bit right here is super cushiony on my heel, all of that. Now, things that I think could be improved. Like I mentioned, the, the toe room is very nice inside the shoe. Things I think that could be improved on this. Um, I want you to take a look at the edging. See how chewed up that started to get? That's from kicking rocks in Northern Virginia where I was hiking up in Shenandoah. You can see some of the rocks in some of my previous videos, but this is only after a hundred miles. So this bit, this foam bit that makes up the heel, you can see that's starting to come apart, kind of gets tore up easily. So they're still good to go. I'm still gonna wear them for a while. I think I'm uh, probably going to be replacing them with a non-Gore-Tex version. And the reason for that is, as it gets warmer out, my feet are going to start to sweat more and I want to make sure that the shoes can dry out. And also, you know, if you go through water crossings, um, you want to make sure your feet can dry out. So it's best not to use Gore-Tex in those kind of situations. So I'm going to get another pair of Speed Ghost, but I'm going to go with a non-Gore-Tex version. The other thing I think could be improved is there's nowhere to latch on a pair of um, gaiters, if you wear gaiters. I've got a pair of Dirty Girl gaiters that I wear on occasion, and there's no area to hook them on the front, so you have to hook the front bit into the shoelace, and obviously that's not centered. Um, and then in the back, you, you connect it with a piece of uh, Velcro that I put on the back of the shoe. It's not a big deal, but since these are used so much by hikers, it would be cool if they made um, some type of a little loop and the loop in the back that you could actually attach a gate or two. Uh, that's really my only complaint. The other thing that I did change out is the insoles. I recently changed out and put a pair of Superfeet insoles. Those are fairly new, so hold off on, I'm gonna hold off on a review of that until I've uh, hiked a bit with those. But so far, that's very comfortable. That's the only modification I've made to the shoe. You can see the bottom. It's wearing pretty well after 100 miles other than that tread that's getting chewed up. The waterproofing that's on them has worked well. I've um, been in the rain with it. I've walked through, you know, very shallow creeks with it. I have never gotten my feet wet. So if you're looking for a Gore-Tex, this works well. Of course, no Gore-Tex works 
maybe just submerge the, the shoe in a creek. So consider that if you're hiking in the summer, you probably don't want a Gore-Tex shoe. But that's it. Hoka Speed Goat 5s, y'all. Highly recommend it. Like I said, my next pair is going to be the non-Gore-Tex pair for the summer. But these have served me well. Um, no blisters and 100 miles. No pain um, other than walking over some sharp rocks. Um, but the shoes themselves have cushioned quite a bit of that as well. So looking for a good pair of trail runners. Hoka Speed Goat 5, highly recommended.